Chelsea, meanwhile, against Manchester United is the standout tie of the FA Cup fifth round draw. Uh, Chelsea at Stamford Bridge are favourites. As uh, Stuart Robson, let's start with you. We haven't spoken to you since uh, Manchester City's 6 0 drubbing of uh, Chelsea. Anything you'd mm. like to say in particular about that? Yeah, Sarri's sticking with the same old policy and he's still got a player in there that uh, I think is the main reason why Chelsea aren't winning enough games. And that's, you know, I'm going to say, Jorginho. As I said right at the start of the season, he can't run, which means he can't defend spaces outside of the fullbacks. He can't head the ball, so he can't get between his centre-halves and do a good defensive job there. He can't see a forward pass unless he's got lots of time on the ball, so he can only pass backwards and square. He can't manipulate the ball, so wriggle out of situations. So he is a liability for Chelsea. And all the time that he is in the side Chelsea I don't think will qualify for the Champions League what can he do <laughs> one Robbo up pretty much <laughs> to be fair Robbo we, uh, we did we did discuss that back in the summer uh, Mitty and mm. uh, a lot of people got upset about it but I mean look the guy's mm. not a terrible player but ultimately at the moment him and, and others are not doing yeah. what they should do they're struggling in the centre half position they're struggling at left back they're struggling in the mm. middle of the park. They're struggling because in Angola Kante has had some good games, but he does look like a little bit of a fish out of water in that position. And, and again, you know, you've got a manager who won't change things. 4-3-3, three, three, my way or the highway. Mm. Well, you've got to do things a little bit differently. These two managers have had a bad week, yep. but Sarri's had a terrible week. Mm. Whether they won in Malmo or not, fans will not give a stuff about that. It all comes down to this game. The upside for Chelsea is uh, United have got couple of bad injuries Martial to key, and Lingard to definitely key, to, out to, to key yeah. players but you've got Sarri mm. fighting for his job you've got Solskjaer trying to convince the, the Old Trafford board that he is the man for the job so this competition yeah. this game is massive on Monday mm. it really is massive Robert how do you see it going? Well, I think PSG showed the way against Manchester United when they dropped that little bit deep. They played with a back three and they said, you, you, you want a counter-attack. That's what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did against Arsenal. And that's what he's done in a lot of the games so far away from home. And he's done it at home as well. They tried to play on the counter-attack with pace in the widers, pace through the centre-forward position. PSG got it absolutely right. They defended that little bit deeper and didn't allow space for, for Manchester United to run into. Chelsea won't do that. There's still going to be space in behind Alonso. There's still going to be space down the side of David Luiz. There's still going to be players to be able to run off of Jorginho. So Manchester United, I still think, are the favourites to win the game. Wow. United to win. Uh, just a reminder, that is the final match from the fifth round. It continues with Brighton Derby, Wimbledon Millwall, Newport County, Manchester City, uh, Bristol City, Wolverhampton, Donny against Crystal Palace, Swansea City against Brentford.